Philip Smart, Head of Industry Engagement and Communications with AMDAR. Welcome to Australia and Space TV. And you're the platinum sponsor here at the Australian Space Forum. So thank you very much for, for taking on that role. Thank you. Um, I suppose, how have you found the, the conference over the last couple of days? Uh, I, I think in a word, inspiring. Um, there have been, I'm an old journo, so, and I have just come across 500 amazing stories of uh, companies from various countries that are involved in space and showing the, the dedication to move something from an idea to something that is in orbit um, and working together to achieve that and it, it's, it's just been inspiring to be here. Yes, well it's definitely a domain for AMDA and I think uh, a sort of a takeaway from this interview is a call to action for Avalon 2025 mm. uh, and I suppose the, the, there's an ecosystem from the space uh, industry at Avalon, just mainly through the primes and the like and the type of companies that are involved. Yes. Where do you see that link between uh, the space industry and Avalon? Maybe how, do, how do you, does that reflect for you? Well, space has been part of Avalon for some time. Um, the Space Industry Association of Australia has previously run its major conference at Avalon um, and will do so again uh, with Avalon 2025. Last year we had the Australian Space Agency as a major sponsor and with a major presence. Um, we also had the uh, Defence um, Space people there with their own pavilion um, last year. And we had, last uh, 2023, we had around 800 companies at Avalon and about 10% of those told us through the capability information that they gave us that they are in space in some way. So there is actually quite a, a, a space element. Um, we didn't so much have a space precinct because most of the companies that are involved in space keep all their capabilities together on one stand yep. rather than separating out, the, the, separating out the space. But it's definitely there and it was there in a big way. Well, it's an aerospace show as well, so it does yes. cross over into that space. Uh, we should be able to see the dates behind us, 25th to the 30th of March. Mm -hmm. what's, your, your, what's your projection? I understand you're expanding uh, the, the show floor and, and the halls. Yes, in, in 2023, for the first time, we sold out of exhibition space. We had a waiting list of, I think, up to around 100 companies. So we've actually expanded the exhibition space by 33% for this one by adding a fourth hall. Um, so four exhibition halls. We've also modified where the uh, uh, industry chalets are going to be. There's a new product there for business as well um, that will be a, a great place for meeting and engaging with customers, etc. So it's, it's going to be, we think, larger, but also we think more efficient and, and better overall for industry. Beautiful. Well, we were media partners in 2023. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to being there in 2025. It's a massive show. It's a, almost a bucket list event that uh, every Australian should at least get to at least once with the F-35s, I imagine, doing another show. Yeah. Uh, but obviously we come in there from that space perspective as well. But Philip Smart with AMDA, thank you very much for joining us today on Australian Space TV. Thank you.